What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and this time it's a goodie. Check this out. I'm going to help you see exactly what a magician sees. Let's ask the spectators to say stop at any point. Now they can say stop anywhere they like. Let's say they say stop on the five of hearts. Now that's a good choice. However, a good magician would get a spectator to choose another two cards. So we'll take the ace of spades and slide it between those two cards right there and place those aside. Now we're left with four cards. So we've got the 10 of diamonds, five of hearts, three of hearts, and the ace of spades. They've each got unique markings on the back. These are all blue backs. I don't know if you can see what I see, but let me help you see it. You see, most magicians would use blue cards, right? However, I want you to see what I see. Can you see they're now red? Every single card has changed to a red back. Every single one, including the three of hearts, the 10 of diamonds, the five of hearts, but it wouldn't be a good trick if that one wasn't red too. Now let's learn how to do it. All right guys, so here's the explanation to the color changing deck. Now, believe it or not, this trick is super easy because this one card here does the entire trick. There's obviously a bit of sleight of hand, which I'll go through very shortly. So you need two duplicate aces. One needs to be blue, the other needs to be red. Here is the setup. The red one goes fourth from the bottom. Okay, so one, two, three, four, but face up. The blue one goes on top of the pack. That is your setup right there. So if we square these up, you'll see we've got the blue one on the top. If we go right down to the bottom, fourth from the bottom is the red ace face up. So to begin with, we need to deal the cards on the table like so and ask the spectator to say stop at any point. Let's say they stop right here on the six of hearts. We square the rest up, we put the pack back on the rest of the pile and we lift them up. Make sure they're square because we don't want to reveal the red cards underneath, okay? Now, every time we square the cards back up, we want to show the top, which is the blue. The reason being, subconsciously, you're not going to say, oh, look, they're still blue. You subconsciously, they're going to see that it's blue, and that's going to be embedded in their mind. Then you turn the pack over again, and you tell them, you know what? A good magician would have two more cards chosen. So you take that blue ace from the top of the pack, you flip it over, you hand it to them and they slide it between any two cards they like. It really doesn't matter. And then you lay those three on the table, including the ace. Okay, now we've got three red cards here, which they don't know about just yet, because this is the only one that they're seeing the entire time. You want to gather these cards up with the ace, okay, so that you've got the ace on the bottom and you want to hold them in this grip right here. And then you're going to flip it over and say, look, we have got four cards here with blue backs. And you show them one at a time. But it, what you've done is just show on the back of the ace. How that's done is you keep the ace on the bottom and you show the bottom, you take the top card. The bottom, take the top card. Show the bottom again and take the top. And it creates the illusion that you've just shown them to be all blue. Okay, so I'll do that one more time for you. So you show the bottom, take the top. Show the bottom, take the top. Keep going until the end. And then I do a little twirl at the end. When you're left here, you've got three cards in your left hand. You now take that top one, being the two of spades, and then you put these two on the bottom. <coughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> okay, so once they're on the bottom, you've got the ace in third position. This is when you're going to execute a double lift. Now I taught this move in my last video, which I'll leave a little link right here. 
Very good. And um, so essentially it's just, you've got the ace, which you need to show, because it's the only one with the blue back. You're gonna show all these cards with blue backs by doing a triple, a double, and then another move, which I'll teach you in a second. So, once you're in this point, you want to do a triple lift. The way you do it is you just pull that bottom card and the other three will just release, okay? I'll do that again. Just pull down and those ones are released. We've got three here. So we pull down, we flip it over and we can see they think the six of hearts is blue. We do a double, it's the same move. The other cards will just pop up. Turn that over. To flip it back over, you do the exact same move and put it down. Now this is how you show, because you can't do a double lift here because we've got two cards. Here's how you show both cards are blue. So you flip one over, you transfer the two to the other side, drop it straight away, and then you show the ace again. Now in slow motion, that doesn't make any sense. But watch what happens when I do it quickly. You say, oh, so I've got the ace of spades and the two of spades, and you drop them, okay? The more you practice it, the more convincing it looks. I'll do it one more time. So it's, you show the ace, transfer the two, drop it, and show the ace. I'll do it one more time at speed. So it's just up and down and release. Cool. When you're at this point, you now pick up the rest of the pack and the spectator is convinced that these are all still red. Uh, sorry, they are all still blue. So you take the blue one, you take a pinky break on that three of hearts there. You take a pinky break and you put, place that ace of spades right underneath it, okay? And you snap, you do a cut right in half. So you wanna cut the cards right in half and place them back on top and now when you turn them over you will see the red cards obviously now let that sink in for a moment for them don't start spreading through straight away let that image sink in for a bit because the cards have just changed color so now you start going through the cards and when you know you're getting towards the ace of spades you start going one at a time there's a reason being you want to jog out that first ace of spades, which is the original ace of spades from the beginning, the red one that was fourth from the bottom. The reason you want to go slowly, once you know you're near the middle, is for this reason. Check this out. If I go too fast, I'll reveal the other ace of spades, and that one there is the blue one. Okay, so you want to spread through, and then when you know you're towards the middle, you slow down, and you push that ace of spades up. Once you've done that, the other ace of spades is here, okay? It's between the next three cards. So instead of spreading through again, you push a whole chunk of cards over, okay? Because that'll push away the other ace of spades and then you can continue spreading through like that. And then you say to the spectator, you can reveal this however you like. You can say, look, the pack's gone red, However, so has the two of spades, the seven of diamonds, and the six of hearts, but it wouldn't be much of a trick if that one wasn't red too. And that's how you complete it. All right, guys, that's all we've got time for today. I really hope you enjoyed that. If I can give you any advice at all, is practice the triple and double lift. That'll make it a lot more convincing for when you start performing it. Um, you really got to practice this. It is easy, but it does require just a little bit of practice in order to get some of the moves down like the double and the triple lifts. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. I upload videos every single week. If uh, you've got any suggestions for me, just leave a comment down below. And uh, I really appreciate you sticking along and learning magic with me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.